Hello and welcome boys and girls, this is Atheric777 and I am back today to talk with you again about another video game and we are going to talk about Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception on the PlayStation 3 and because of the reason that this game came out very recently I decided to don't talk too much about the story because I don't want to spoil it to you and I will even not show too much of, uh, of the gameplay because I don't want to ruin this special game to somebody of you. So uh, I'm talking a bit about the graphics, sound effects and uh, the things that I liked and that I didn't like. And uh, so I will leave you the possibility to check this game out by yourself. And uh, I think we have to start with the graphics because the graphics of this game are totally, and I mean totally amazing uh, there are a lot of details that you will that you will see the light looks perfect uh, details like here for example when the character rolls through the water that he's becoming wet and uh, during during the time uh, his clothes are becoming dry again and all that so something um, that uh, that was absolutely amazing and we talk here about probably the best uh, looking game on the PlayStation 3 uh, in this moment and uh, well I can say that uh, you know I love to explore the worlds in the video games that I really liked it for starting with this reason because it looks very very good um, the game all in all is like the first part and the second part a mix of uh, you know being an adventure a shooter you have to explore things it's a uh, it's a mix of everything um, and uh, I just can say the mix is very, very good. Even if I personally uh, would have preferred if you would have to shoot a bit less because I'm not a big uh, shooter fan, um, besides some, uh, some little exceptions. But I like, you know, to explore worlds. And um, well, the mix is very good in general. Just for me personally, I would have liked uh, to explore a little bit more. Um, However, you see it by yourself, this here is uh, very good, the camera works uh, in a very good way in my opinion, you can move it uh, absolutely free. And um, beside of uh, the fact that some people, people didn't like the controls that much because they told uh, they have some problems, I have to say that I didn't experience this uh, problem, but I think the controls are very very good. and. Um, yeah, as I told, what I like is the free camera. You know, you can move the camera with uh, with the right uh, analog stick of your controller and uh, that is very good. Um, what I didn't like so much is, you know, I don't like to kill people and so even during the game uh, I tried always to don't shoot them but, you know, just to knock them out like you see here in this moment. And that is something that works very good, but uh, a problem in general is that uh, the AI, once they uh, realize that you are there, is uh, yeah overreacting a bit. It's like everybody knows where you actually are and uh, that was a little bit, um, yeah, exaggerated. But for the rest, watch this here. I mean, uh, when you know how to play it, then uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Another part that I love on this game, beside a very good story, is how needless everything works together. Uh, you have quick time events, uh, you have short movies and of course you have the gameplay. For example, this here is uh, a part where we have the gameplay and you will, rea you will realize in a moment how uh, needless that goes into an event. Here for example, this is still gameplay, this is not a movie sequence. So you see, uh, Drake is uh, falling out of the airplane. This here is a movie sequence. Now it moves back. This is again gameplay. That's me actually uh, trying to catch uh, the box there. Boom! And that's what I did. And uh, now everything changes into a little uh, quick time event. So you see, absolutely needless, one going into another. Uh, and also the loading times are really um, fantastic. You know, it's like you watch a very long movie. Uh, it took me about eight hours, I think, to finish this game. And uh, 
it's really making you, you, you know, you want to go on, you want to go on, you don't want to stop it and that is something uh, important in the game. Other parts, uh, very good like here for example, are when the camera zooms out because you are in the desert and uh, they want to make you that, you, that you feel, you know, that you are lost and you have no idea where to go and uh, zooming out for example is a very good way to uh, transmit this feeling, um, something that they did very well. And even these parts here, uh, for example, when you watch this part with the horse, uh, look very, very nice. As I told, I could include the whole time the story that I like very much, but I don't want to ruin it in no way. That is even the reason why I deactivated uh, for this video the, the character's voice. That means uh, when they talk here, you cannot hear it because uh, it's important that you explore it all by yourself. So uh, when you watch these parts, uh, we have again a free uh, camera and uh, you see that, for example, now I, uh, I'm going to watch down to see the, the camions and all that. And uh, for example, this here, watch the fire. Um, that looks so realistic and uh, it gives you even a pressure during the game. Uh, you know, you feel like you're really there and you want to get out and that is uh, fantastic. But of course, there are even some things that I didn't like, not so much, but some things that uh, um, I realized, for example, we had some no-clip errors, you see that, uh, Drake is actually hanging in the air, he's not really standing uh, on the tree there. That was something that I realized, or something here, boom, you see, uh, he was falling into the ground. And uh, because of the details, sometimes you saw that here shaking, uh, the PlayStation 3 has to reload. And um, that are some moments that I didn't like so much. But of course, uh, there are things that uh, don't happen very often. The biggest error in the whole game that made me a little bit crazy is this part here. Uh, you see, I throw again, uh, I throw away the light and it appears again because I need it. You see there. Uh, it shows up again and that is something that I really disliked, the biggest error in the game, in my opinion. And uh, as I told, the AI is a bit exaggerating when they know where you are. But what I realized is when you stand still, then it takes time until, uh, until you die. I mean, a lot of these bullets are not, uh, you know, uh, really... Uh, getting you, but uh, on the other side, I mean, he should be already dead by now, by, by now but uh, he's not dying and uh, yeah, something that uh, could have been uh, better a little bit, you know, a bit more realistic, but beside of that, my total opinion is one of the best games right now on the PlayStation 3, a very good mix, a very good work, worth its money and uh, you just should get this. And I thank you very much for watching this video. Get the game, come back soon and leave me a nice comment. Bye bye.